Are there other names uh, that we we refer to this virus as uh, besides equine herpes virus? Yeah, so uh, many people uh, refer to equine herpes virus as rhino pneumonitis because the most common form is respiratory disease, fever with uh, runny nose and, um, and respiratory signs. Well, that brings up a good point. What, what are the symptoms that a horse owner can look for if, if their horse has been exposed? I guess, first of all, what's, what's the incubation period uh, when would you expect to see both the respiratory symptoms and neurological symptoms if they've been exposed to the disease? Sure. So uh, most horses will show clinical signs about a week to 10 days after being exposed. Some horses have been um, uh, described as having uh, symptoms as soon as two days afterward, but usually it's a week to 10 days after exposure. Um, horses with a respiratory disease may have just a transient mild fever, um, all the way up to having um, severe, you know, runny nose, cough, um, fever for up to 10 days. Uh, the neurologic signs that people should look for, again, may occur with a fever or following a fever. So the horse might have a fever and then a period of several days goes by and then the horse starts to show weakness, wobbliness. Um, they may dribble urine and be unable to pass manure um, without help. Um, sometimes these horses will actually even go down. Um, sometimes they'll just go down in the back end, but sometimes they go down and, and are unable to get up again.